Morning chaps, we're straight in with an introduction this morning because I do want to brew this week or very early next week and in order to do that with this new piece of kit, this fantastic plate chiller from UK Exchanges then I'm going to require mounting it. So in yesterday's vlog you saw me put together these two uh, mild steel brackets now these brackets are going to effectively surround the plate chiller like so and then that's going to support the plate chiller up in the air whilst we weld on some legs or bolt on some legs, I might bolt the legs on actually so it's removable and then that will be mountable on either wheels or the rest of the brew kit allowing this to be off the ground so we can attach hoses and it's serviceable we can wash it down, everything else we need to do without it picking up any contamination from the floor which is a good thing and then once this is complete we'll paint the frame up and then I want to move on to starting some tables for the pub whilst we wait for the rest of the bits of kit to come to get this together so we're getting straight into it today most people can fly I can but if I get any higher I'll trigger heaven's trip why I spiral down in town while I hear the Bible sound of hope and smile I find out it was all worthwhile go straight to back if the streets intact otherwise one of mine explodes otherwise go to this place pop quiz wear it out where the grass grows from your nose to your toes where the sound blows from your knees to the trees music distress for less contest quick like a blind dress way like a boundless i ain't no miss i'm a mister thank you very much i'll miss ya to get one project almost completed we'll just require some paint on the frame and hey prestoids we've actually got a friggin uh, support for the plate chiller I'm really pleased with that 
Um, if I want to take the plate, the front face plate off, I will have to take it out of the frame. I could have made it an extra 20 mil longer. I suppose you live and learn, don't you? But to get the plates out, just undo these bolts, slide it forward, and then safe in the knowledge that the end plate won't accidentally fall off. My old one, you couldn't get the end plate off anyway. And all the plates will come out just on a little wobble. So I'm quite pleased with that. We've got adjustable feet to get it all squared up. I'm not quite sure of the position it's going to be in yet, so there's not much point me squaring the feet up. But yes, I'm really chuffed with it. So let's have a quick look at it before we start the next project, which I think is possibly going to be a table. <laughs> spent two hours from about 12 till 2 sanding off the epoxy or the leftover bits so this is what we're left with that was the one that looked like a rock pool right now it looks black but if we wet it just a little bit of spittle a little bit of spittle folks it starts to open back up again so I'm going to do a little test in an inconspicuous corner as to whether we can actually uh, put polyurethane varnish onto this epoxy and if indeed it reacts at all. Aha, uh -huh. well, it's definitely made it clear again, which is a good thing. I'm just curious as to exactly what grit level we're going to have to take the polyurethane down to, uh, the epoxy down to, in order to not see any scratches from the sanding. And we've just gone to a 120 here, so I'm kind of hoping that when that dries, I'll just show you, kind of hoping that when that dries, it stays as clear. I can see some scratches in there though, so we may have to come back to this. But in the meantime, I've started on one of the tables for the pub, which is going to be metal framed. So I'll take you to have a look at that. Jesus Christ, it's bright. Holy. So here we are. This is corner one of said table and set up here, set up here is corner two. We're about to put them together and have a look what they look like, Pat. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Beat. 
Good evening viewers. Another absolutely packed day. I couldn't think of a decent word to say but packed. It's half past eight. Worked extremely hard today, all three of us and the kids. They've been good as gold. Me, Gemma and Stuart have been absolutely slogging it today. So I think I showed you the bar, as far as I'm aware I did. This is the beginnings of the tabletop that you've seen me building, the, the surround. So here it is. And what you've just watched me cut are the steel bolts that you saw me remove the zinc from this morning using the brick acid, which is muriatic acid or hydrochloric acid. Dirt cheap. Just soak your galvanized fittings in there and the acid will do the rest. I am actually partaking in a little bit of that acid. Although this contains malic acid because it's cider. It's a bloody good cider. So as you can probably tell by my tone, I'm knackered now. Half past eight, I have to go home, get showered and edit the vlog. God, honestly, if it weren't for you guys supporting me on Patreon, this would not be happening. There's no way I'd be able to do all this without uh, getting some type of support for it. So thanks for that. Uh, I've also prepared the worktop here. Shall we go and have a look? I've just given it another coat of water-based polyurethane. As you can see, it's dark outside in the UK now. And here it is. I'm hoping the camera is going to pick this up. It's beautiful, isn't it? You see the shine on there? And using that sprayer, I think I've managed to not get any runs whatsoever. So tomorrow morning when that comes in, I will knock it back with some 600 or 1000 grit then give it another coat and I'm hoping that the final coat of poly will level it all out completely and it'll look amazeballs. Look, here's some of the leftover bolts that we did earlier on. You can see how I've chopped the heads off. Well, you've seen me. Anyway, Gemma's just coming back from Aldi with pints of milk for home. I bet she wants a cup of tea. And I'm going to go and edit the vlog. So, literally, I'm done. We'll see you tomorrow. You don't want to miss it because I'm going to show you how to use this to age that steel.